Hello everyone, welcome to week 13 and last lecture of business analytics subject. Today, I want to talk about ethics in business analytics. Let's start with the definition of ethics. Ethics is moral rules, codes, and principles which provide guidelines for right and truthful behavior in a specific situation. Ethics has a long history in business and all business people you know they need to be very mindful about ethics. But when we talk about business analytics, the consideration for ethical issues is even more significant because business analytics itself is very complex. And we have machines, we have algorithms that are making decisions for us or they help us to make decisions. So ethics and ethical issues are more complicated in business analytics and we need to be very careful about them. David, oh, you are sitting there. David, I remember uh, it was two or three weeks ago, you talked about your experience watching YouTube with your girlfriend. I think it said you were watching a documentary and all of a sudden YouTube kept sending you advertisement, not once, a couple of times during the uh, documentary about engagement ring. And you said the reason that YouTube was doing that was that a couple of days ago, you search for engagement ring and based on what you said in the class uh, you were planning to propose to your girlfriend which is good but you said you were unhappy with the advertisement because somehow it spoiled your surprise and at the same time your girlfriend knows about technology too and when YouTube is sending a couple of advertisement about engagement ring. She can feel that you have done some search uh, in the internet for engagement ring. So it does set some expectation for your girlfriend too. And you didn't like it, fair enough. I wouldn't have liked it too. We call it ethical issue because YouTube did something that you really didn't like it. And we can find many other examples too because all those applications that you use, you install on your phone, on your computer, are collecting data about you, about your browsing history, and about different things which can relate to you and can relate to your privacy. There is a famous story about target data. They are fantastic in predictive analytics. They have, they have a strong algorithm. I talked about predictive modeling, predictive analytics in retail. How important is to have strong predictive modeling and send recommendation to our customers because we want to have a bigger share of the market. We want to approach those potential customers, those who may buy from us. And target did that, fair enough. Business should keep working. Business should be profitable. And a guy, a genius guy in Target, came up with an algorithm which said, okay, if a female buy 25 items, it is very likely that she's pregnant. So if we discover who is likely to be pregnant, we can send advertisement about those pregnancy uh, stuff. For example, baby clothing, furniture, and we can send uh, emails with small infant and they can encourage her to buy more from us. And they did that. It worked. But all of a the sudden they sent advertisement to a teenage girl because of her purchase behavior. One day in the home his father looked at advertisement and said why Target is sending advertisement about pregnancy stuff, about baby clothing to my teen daughter who is still in high school. He got very angry. He went to closest Target store and said, I want to talk to manager. Manager came and said, what's the issue? 
He said, why you are doing that? Are you going to motivate my teen daughter who is still in high school to get pregnant? Store manager was shocked. He said, I apologize and I investigate the issue and I get back to you. After a couple of days, store manager uh, called that guy and tried to apologize again. But before he apologized, the father of the teenager said, Sorry, I owe you an apology. Apparently, there are some activities in my house that I'm not aware of. And my daughter is due in August. That's the power of predictive analytic. I have talked about different phases or different steps of analytic. In week 12, I talked about this life cycle, which I start from formulating the problem. What analytic wants to do, then it's about data collection, then it's about data preparation, data transformation, then model building and evaluation, then model deployment, and finally, to monitor the progress. The thing is, ethics is involved in each and every step of business analytics. There is no exception, and you should be aware of that. Start from data collection. It's, if it's an application, what that application is allowed to collect about us. If it's a survey, what type of question you can ask the respondent. Then it's about aggregation or transformation. Imagine that I do some analytic and we have only one female lecturer or academic in UQ business school. And I generate a report and I say, the average salary of female academic in UQ business school is 110K. And I think it's safe because it's average. I'm not revealing any information, but actually I am because many of the staff in UQ Business School know there is only one female academic here. So that's somehow revealing the private information about that lecturer or academic. So aggregation is tricky and model building too. When we develop a model, we should know who is going to use this model. And this model is going to contribute to which type of decision. Is it a strategic decision or is, is it operational decision? I talked about it in week seven. I talked about differences in operational and strategic decision making and how business analytics can contribute to each type of decision. So you should be very well aware of type of decision that predictive analytics is making or is helping to be made. So all in all, ethics is involved in each step of predictive analytics. And then it goes to model deployment, monitoring results, and formulating the problem. What I want to do today, I want you to B shape groups of three or four. You guys can be in group of five. So, uh, and I provide you a case about TJX company in US. In 2008, they had data breach of 94 million customers. And the executive committee had to sit together immediately and decide what they need to do and what they need to do, which is ethical. They made a decision, and I want to sit together, look at the case, discuss it, and you tell me what you think should have been done. I compare what you think is ethical and what executive committee in TJ East thought is ethical, and then I want to compare your thinking and TJ East thinking with three normative theory about ethical issues, namely stakeholder theory, stakeholder theory, and social contract theory. That's it. And now I want to talk about the philosophy of my teaching and how I apply this philosophy 
to this 10-minute mini lecture. Thank you.